How you guys and girls doing today? It's the Finance Man here, y'all. Welcome back to the channel where we cover everything from real estate to stocks, investments, you name it. In this video, y'all, we are talking about some Terra Luna. And boy, oh boy, y'all, don't we got some news to cover. But before I get into that, if you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to hit those buttons down below, like that like and that sub button, so that way this video can get out to more people who need to see it. And there is a little thing I'm giving away to all of those who like my content down in the description below, y'all. You can get some free stocks. Just check it out. I'm hooking y'all up because I'm your boy and I want to see y'all succeed. But with that being said, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So what's been going on with Terra Luna? So we're not going to go over the entire story, but as most of y'all know, this thing has crashed it has been trending on twitter alone for the past week now and it's because billions of dollars were wiped out overnight during this entire terra attack some people are calling it as you can see you saw it go from a hundred dollars sixty dollars all the way down within under 24 hours to under a cent look at this at one point we had four to five zeros but if we scroll in here last night what we'll see that happened last night it was something crazy let's go ahead and check out this chart so if we scroll on over here we can see that there was a huge jump so it was around you know three or four zeros one and then overnight within a couple of hours right after uh you know the ceo made an announcement as to what's going to happen you saw a huge jump i mean people put in two hundred dollars and made up to two to three thousand dollars man it was absolutely crazy and then as you can see now starting to you know consolidate a bit people took their profits people woke up realized what happened and now you can start seeing that it's starting to go back down again as you can see some people are bullish some people are bearish as i always say y'all this is not financial advice always do your own research you never know what's going to happen but this could be uh, a huge gamble of a lifetime and that's what crypto is right most crypto is a gamble so this could be either really good if you could get in and just sit back and chill and hold it or it could be really bad as you can see even coin market cap lets you know that it is extremely volatile so you always have to proceed with caution and uh, pretty much right now what everyone's waiting on is to see what uh, the CEO and you know what the community is going to be doing next as you can see right here the last message that we got from Terra the last post was was on the 13th which was two days ago and this is a post-mortem of everything that has transpired the past week is in progress and you know the strength of the lunatics has been amazing more to come and six hours ago all updates will be posted on this twitter account any other accounts are fake and to be careful and the reason why they're saying this y'all and i just wanted to point this out make sure that you're following the account with a verified check mark there are accounts that literally have over 800 to 900 k followers that are posting fake news saying that there's brand new things coming out and that there's going to be announcements in 24 hours hours and things like that all a lie y'all only follow the ones with verified check marks same thing of course here with do one or do no i'm not so sure how to pronounce that second part there but you know this is his official account this is the ceo verified check mark once again last post he made was on the 13th as well saying that you know he's proposing different things like that and that's when uh, the charts started taking off a bit and uh, we're just waiting now man we're waiting to see what the next announcement is now we do have an announcement coming in today from the ceo of binance issuing a statement about what was going on with Terra and Luna because it was delisted off of the platform then it was added back so CEO of Binance expressed some of his thoughts about the recent downfall of Terra and Luna he expressed some of his views and thoughts uh, through a series of tweets this is the past week has been terrible for lunatics as one of the most devastating events in the history of crypto Luna which stood at $65 a week back has plummeted so hard it is currently not even a fraction of a penny at the time of writing with over 6 trillion Luna tokens to put in the circulation and wiped out a considerable amount of wealth it said it shot up remember this is what we were talking about 3300 percent um, right when he had made the announcement of how he thinks Luna can be revived, he also proposed to reset the network to 1 billion tokens, which we have covered in detail here. We'll check out this in a second. But this is how the CEO CZ expressed his thoughts. He said, first, I need to address the falsehoods circulating in crypto Twitter. Um, Binance did not participate in the second round of Luna's fundraising, nor did we acquire any UST. Binance Labs invested 3 million USD in Terra, the layer zero blockchain in 2018. UST came much later after our initial investment. He also so that the company has invested in over a hundred projects in the past four years he mentioned that uh, many made extreme success out of all while some never stood up he pointed out minting forking don't create value buying back and burning does but requires funds funds that the project team may not have he noted that at this point what he would love to see is more transparency from them much more including specific on-chain transactions of all the funds relying on third-party analysis is not sufficient or accurate this is the first thing that should have happened Binance was among the earlier ones to suspend luna and us 
UST trading amidst the chaos. CZ ended his words by shedding some hope that the project can rise from the ashes and rebuild properly and sensibly. So as we can see, y'all, let's go ahead and click on this other link that we have up here. You know, this is uh, the in detail on how he thinks that the network can actually be revived. So long story short, what he thinks is 400 million units of the token should be given to the previous holders of Luna who saw the values of their coin depreciate. Another 400 million should be given to UST holders on a pro rate basis. And the last 200 million units should be divided between the community pool, which would be used to fund future projects and those who bought Luna at the last minute in their attempt to help save the coin equally. So y'all, what does this mean for Luna? Once again, not financial advice, but it is up in the air, y'all. We never truly know what's gonna happen. Of course, we say it time and time again, but people are gonna do it anyway. Always invest what you can afford to lose. Uh, this is a total toss up, man, and it can be um, one of the best investments of your life or it can be one of the worst investments of your life. Some people are buying the dip. As you can see right now, this is just my own personal opinion on what I think is going to happen. I think right now that little miniature rally that we had was going to be the biggest rally that we're going to have for a little while. You know, it did that 8x or that 9x last night and gave people in crazy money and then people put out to take profit. I think what's going to happen now is, as you can see, it's going to continuously go down until it might hit some kind of resistance at four zeros or something like that or it might keep on going down until it has five zeros and then right when people are about to give up on it it's going to shoot right back up again pretty much i'm thinking that it's going to go down and tell um do or you know the other twitter that they have the terror twitter make some kind of announcement some definitive announcement as to what's going on right now because it's simply just speculation and the only thing that the ceo has announced is just proposals on what he thinks he should do moving forward of course the majority of the community does not want him to move on to another token they want him to just buy back everything and he would need funds for that like we read in the article but people want him to buy back the tokens and then burn it because if they did a crazy burn then everybody would be extremely excited because the prices are shooting back up again so we're just gonna have to wait and see um my personal opinion is I think that as of right now, it's going to continuously go down. And until we get news, uh, you know, it's going to just be going down. Well, eventually, let's hope that once we get that news, we'll see another huge surge in price. But we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know in the comment section what you think. And I will catch you all in the next one. The Finance Man is out of here.